Hi all. Um, hi Chris. Uh, so yeah, we're going to okay. use the the uh, Twitch stream method. Um, hopefully less adverts this time uh, for this <laughs> final game of the World Championship, which was uh, the final classical time control game. Uh, game twelve was today. Um, can you see the board, Chris? Yeah. No. Oh, not I yet. Have, okay. I still have the cat and mouse picture. All right. Um, ho hopefully we'll get Chris viewing this board in a few seconds. Um, so it was a 12 game match and it was the 12th game today so we're going to enter oh sorry I'm not going to say the result of the game <laughs> I don't want to spoil the result of the game sorry sorry you might you not know the result of the game <laughs> you, you already you already did this in a way but no okay. no no we can't spoil the result of the game no no it's a mystery yes let's let's see no no keep it a mystery <laughs> yeah um but um so Anand was playing white and um played E four and um okay. Uh any any news on the chessboard yet, Chris? Yeah, now now I've got a bot and I got one e four. So okay, cool. I think we are we are on the way. Okay. Yeah, one e four, and um, if you look back at it now, at those twelve games, of course, uh, Arnold had six white games. He played three times e four, three times d four, mm. and um, it's quite surprising actually if you think about it. He played uh, those those three d four games. Mm. He, he played. He, he won the last one. Yeah, this. Mm. Uh, with the help of this F3 system, and after that he played only uh, two games with E4. It's quite, quite surprising. I, I think mm. that uh, he wouldn't uh, wouldn't try D4 anymore. Mm. But uh, okay, he most likely had some some new ideas in in, in store here. So um, we got uh, the Sicilian again. So yeah. Gelfand sticks to his uh, preparation. Ninety six start of invitation for Shreznikov which is declined with the anti Sveshnikov bishop b5 this is the one of the reasons i didn't like the Sveshnikov much anymore because bishop b5 is one of the theory so this rosalimo um system uh and now e6 again was chosen and now and again immediate exchange on c6 um and then b takes so this all happened uh before uh but now was this a different move, D3? Was this identical as well? Yeah, D3 is uh, the new move for this match in um, game 10. Mm. The white game before that, uh, officially played B3 yeah. and was surprised by this. Uh, yeah. E5, wasn't it? Al al almost novelty E5. Yeah. And now he went D3, which is, I think, the main move. Um, the, the idea of uh, playing D3 here. Mm. And not castling, for uh, for instance, is to still have this h4 option, which also oh, yes. will be happening in the game. And uh, well, because very often, if you look at um, black setup here, he doesn't really want to play knight uh, to f6, but um, most often he would go to g6 with his knight. And then this h4 idea is really uh, something to consider to to try to kick this knight with h4, h5. Yeah. So uh, this is why he plays d3, sort of, um, yeah, keeping these options open. Oh, that's very clever. And actually, it never occurred to me. He's waiting for this, just to kick the knight, leave leave the rook on h1. That's that's ingenious. So the beauty and excitement yeah, of the game is, is all behind the scenes here in this game, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> d3 is uh, just a normal kind of move. Um, now so I'm not sure what played. 97 or yes, d6. Yes. Yes. 97. Mm -hmm. And again, another waiting move, b3. So, well, he can pounce on g6 with bishop b2 now, uh, but also he can pounce on knight g6 with h4, can't he now? So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this b3 move is new or, mm. or uh, it's most likely not a novelty, but uh, it's, uh, I think, um, I'm not quite sure. I only saw this, uh, the press conference with sort of. Um, uh, yeah, just one ear, so to say. I didn't listen to it 
too closely because I was a bit uh, bit sick about this uh, this game. Um, so oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so um, Black yeah, was played a um, d6 here. D6. So yeah. he's aiming for that e5, that which we discussed in an earlier game to get that nice center. And you mentioned the idea that one issue is if White disrupts Black's pawn structure potentially and tries to establish. A foothold with e5, and that was actually what was played. e5 here. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, almost, yeah, maybe almost the only move that makes uh, any sense here. If black gets to play e65, he's immediately fine. Yeah. So white needs to do this, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a pawn sacrifice. If, if yeah, if d takes, I, so you, you wouldn't play knight takes because of queen d4, I guess. There, that doesn't, yeah, so that doesn't work. Funny knight's trick, protecting yeah. c6. Or, I mean, sorry, it's knight's hanging. There's no there's no amazing bishop sacrifice here, is it? It's, that would just be bad, um, I think. No, sometimes there are tricks, and we, I think we discussed a similar line in, uh, yeah. in the last uh, game, but everything's also hanging with check here, and the knight hangs with check and so on. Yeah. So um, this, uh, this uh, wouldn't happen, but uh, white most likely would um, play some some other move instead of taking on e5 maybe bishop b2 or yeah. knight d2 some move to sort of knight d2 uh, doesn't really threaten knight d5 because this pawn structure is quite fragmented here um, yeah but uh, but f6 you know f6 uh, it's not too clear hmm. um, I mean they they of course would have um, prepared this yeah it yeah. was all played uh, also very quickly by white so it's clear that um, this was uh, preparation. Uh -huh. So um, hmm. well, not sure. I'm not so, so sure about bishop b2 because does the bishop really do much now on b2? I see. All right, it's after f6, uh, yeah, and, maybe and, just and, queen, maybe queen and black e2, and then bishop e3 to target c5 instead. Queen, queen e2 maybe, and then bishop e3. Uh, yeah, and uh, maybe, maybe just, just. Bishop b2 is a kind of automatic move that... Yeah, or, or just bishop e3, and I've seen Adams play in this system, a move, move maneuver like this, that would hit c5 as well, this sort of queen maneuver. Yeah, bishop b3, yeah, but knight d5, I think, oh, would be d5, good. Oh, knight d5, yeah. Mm, okay. You don't want to give both knights, I guess. Uh, both bishops, I guess. Yeah, it's not, not, not easy to tell. Maybe what, just uh, c4 then first, and then bishop e3, if that's technically... Oh, do you knight f5? No, I don't know. Okay, that's tricky. So, uh... Not quite sure. I think there are, there are multiple options. Yeah. Also, this bishop b2, it, it, it's not necessarily bad. Um, it's just um, not quite clear how it would continue. Yeah. One thing, if you if you look at the position d takes e5, bishop b2, f6, yeah. and then imagine white castling, rook e1, and then playing something like c3 and d4, yeah. like opening it up completely. This could be an idea also. Yeah. And it's it's a bit risky because black is really uh, behind in development. So he he didn't he didn't take but played a knight to g6, and yeah. this is uh, also quite a logical move to not get too too far behind in development. And again the pawn sacrifice was repeated an invitation to win a pawn with h4 just to fracture black's pawn structure. Yeah and this was also played quickly so it was uh, mm. all... So we discover prepared. here uh, well th what, what would white do and he just played knight d2 here a pawn down but with a fantastic potential blockade and pressure, maybe not maybe bishop, bishop, but more likely bishop e3 sometimes, especially if the, there's no knight to pounce on the bishop. A bishop e3 to target c5 later. Um, yeah, this is now uh, quite quite nice uh, from a structural point of view. Hmm. So black has got two bishops, but they're both not doing doing so much. Uh, so, so much, hmm. especially the light squared bishop um, has got. Yeah, m mostly one uh, one function here to 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 uh, to um, yeah to exchange itself for for a knight which appears on c4. Yes. So um, it's uh, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, by this t uh, at this point, I thought, okay, maybe we get a really interesting um, game here. Yeah. So, uh, but but now uh, I think Gaffand invested almost 30 minutes and then came up with quite um yeah, I'm not quite sure how surprising this move is. 
but <laughs> c4 yes it's pawn like sac counter pawn sacrifice immediately liberating the bishop across mm -hmm. this diagonal making way for potential c5s and bishop e7s potentially as well so it's just trying to get the dynamism these pawns out of the way for the bishops um, and yeah, also this I diagonal guess, um, um, but this this diagonal can be used in emergency now but I've seen yeah I've, we've seen this pawn sacrifice in many recent high level games haven't we in this very I think I've seen a Karakin game recently in this with a c4 yeah sometimes it happens uh, in a position where like has a pawn on d5 and then plays c4 mm. but this is like just giving it away for yeah <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, but okay, it's a, uh, it's I guess, um, guess a good move um, because it doesn't allow Y to um, get into this kind of locating strategy where he's got everything under control, and um, now at least Black uh, can activate his pieces. So if you look at the the course of the game, I think it's uh, most likely a good idea. Hmm. So. Um, yeah, Anna now thought for a while and then took on c4 with a uh, with a knight. Yes, he did fight, think for a while, and um, and I predicted actually. Um, well, <laughs> I think everyone was predicting bishop a6, and then queen f3 was the prediction, and that came true here. Just seemingly, I thought it was with the intention of queen d5, queen g3, uh, with an interesting game to justify this h pawn maybe. And with mm. pressure points, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately, my expectation uh, was shattered here after Queen D5. I really didn't expect uh, what happened here, which was um, a Queen exchange. Uh, but it does win a pawn um, for White to go a pawn up. But Queen G3 might be a viable, a viable alternative here. What do you think about that? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, I, I didn't, oops, I didn't really um, see this uh, phase of the game because they had some uh, art documentary on, <laughs> and uh, I was doing some other stuff. So um, I'm not sure what what would Black play now. But well, the point is, okay, White White will be a pawn up if he exchanges the queen as he did. Mm. White has an extra pawn, but it's really also quite obviously questionable if it's enough to really make something out of this so this is of course uh, more ambitious at first sight mm. but um, I'm not quite sure what would happen Here's Queen G3 fictional variation which amused me which would never happen but imagine Bishop C3 here Bishop A3 this is just the fictional I oh, know I don't think there's enough compensation here. It was just something I had briefly uh, amused myself with. <laughs> Forget it. It was it was Bishop B4 might have been an idea as well, but White avoids this this whole thing by by taking on D5. Okay, so the complexity of Queen G3 uh, remain a mystery. Um, unless you want to have a quick look, should we go on to the game? Yeah, it's 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 of course also possibly um, dangerous for White. Yeah. It's uh, I think the, the the advantage of queen takes d5 of course is um, that you're quite likely not to lose the game. <laughs> yeah. And um, this queen g3 is sort of still playing for a win. Yeah, for three results. Yeah, you you considering that you maybe could you could maybe lose. Right. So queen takes d5 is maybe the the kind of move. Uh, which um, yeah is preferred in those kind of last games <laughs> mm. in uh, in a match, but um, difficult really. Queen g3. I would also consider the move e4 here. All right. And just uh, this would be my first instinct to get rid of the double pawn and uh, maybe open up the position here. But um, hmm, it's difficult. Maybe White can just castle. It, it's an interesting position. It's certainly not uh, not immediately obvious that it uh, should be uh, should be bad or anything. Bishop B4 is also very valid. What you suggested, first Bishop B4 to um, get White to to move his king. Yes, Bishop B4 here. Yeah, this is interesting, and maybe the kind of stuff uh, which would get played maybe in this kind of rapid games or yeah those uh, I don't know less important games mm. 
it's um it's sort of risky but this is um kind of the way this uh whole match is progressing it's a uh, very risk averse you can <laughs> imagine king f1 maybe castle queenside then what white cannot take on well he has to protect g2 that would be a disaster uh, it's not going to happen it's just a fictional variation but casting queenside actually maybe taking on e5 um yeah i'm not sure yeah oh no taking on e5 is not possible uh yeah it, it's, it's it, this can easily easily C2. backfire on white so yeah the queen on d5 is not a bad piece yeah it's quite powerful yes hitting g2 and if black can castle queen side this pressure on g7 might be an illusion so maybe this is maybe this is the safe this is the definitely it's the safer choice just to take the queens off reduce the complexity of the positions quite considerably yeah, yeah and you've got get an extra pawn after all you can you can try in this position so capture towards okay, the center so uh, rather than well actually they're both that would be undoubling the pawns going to be taken anyway so it's but so black wants to get maybe the c file pressure yeah he needs to get get something on uh, on c2 yeah so he takes with the c pawn okay white takes the extra pawn now extra pawn up but black and the commentators thought black would be doing fine here with the two bishops i think bishop d6 was mentioned but actually uh e5 um was played uh and then after so here white castled um i don't know what do you think of e5 do you think there are viable alternatives um to e5 yeah but yeah e5 looks quite uh, quite normal doesn't it i mean is there some some issue with e5 um not particularly <laughs> so so white white castled now and the king didn't need to manually um automatically castle the king uh just went to f7 here uh so we've got so black has the bishop here and potential for rook c8 but this c file is about to be shut down by white uh immediately yeah, it's also it's always notoriously difficult to to get your pawn your pawns uh, rolling against those bishops it's very difficult mm. especially this uh, a6 bishop which might um, get to b7 and then on the long diagonal yeah it's very annoying i mean it's uh, it's clearly um that it's clear that black has quite some compensation here yeah mm. so c4 quite. trying to shut down the c file and now just bishop e7 here just connecting rooks hello hello rooks connected so um okay uh and offering well this pawn can't be taken d3 would be horrible uh so it's not taken um instead white plays bishop e3 eyeing a7 uh trying to restrict maybe the rook for a moment black definitely doesn't want to play move like d4 the bishop would just oh that that wouldn't help the bishops of black to play d4 no no you can you can just keep the tension here white you can in this kind of positions you can just just check in terms of uh, yeah being equal not uh, playing for an advantage as black mm. you can you just need to check if white can move any any of his pawns and he cannot Mm. So um, if as long as you keep him from moving those pawns, yeah, you should you should be very fine. And also, yeah, there are also some some other things like the king on f7 is quite quickly on e6 and uh, helping mm. um, in the center. And white uh, has got the king on g1. So mm. so bishop b7 um, here, and now white did kind of expose the d3 pawn but black is actually threatening horrible things now um like uh doubling here potentially d4 and bishop f3 so actually c takes d5 was played um here um and after bishop takes d5 white quickly went to the c file with with rook fc1 so rook fc1 here um and maybe some players would be concerned about rook c7 in this position but in fact a5 was played um 
So what do you think now about this position after Rook F C one? Yeah, I can, I can. Yeah, it's it's easy here yeah, because I, <laughs> this part of the broadcast I was watching and um, Kromnik just uh, stated um, that A five didn't make any sense to him and he would have played Rook C eight. Oh really? So if, uh, yeah, yeah, he said if the a5, rook c7, and y can try a bit, but it's okay, it's a draw. He was pretty much sure that uh, this would this would be a very drawish position, but he thought that a5 would be somewhat in somewhat uh, yeah not not the most accurate move. Let's let's take a look at you're going to lose a7 potentially, but it doesn't matter about that. I suppose takes taking a7 is bad, is it? Very bad. Yeah, at the end you've got rook a8, rook and, and bishop b3. Oh, maybe. of course, bishop moves. Bishop maybe. Um, uh, I see. Oh, that's a backfire. You could end up considerably, maybe slightly worse. Yeah. It, white can white can be very very quickly um, worse. It's, it's just easy. If you blunder one pawn, you're really bad <laughs> in this position. Yeah. So, also um, this this even loses two pawns. A2 is gone as well. Yeah. So in fact, okay, so a5, um, and now white just aim to get rid of black's bishop pair with bishop c5, and not mind this this doubling of pawns. Um, uh, for the moment, black he just actually indirectly targeted d3 now, as if bishop f3 and d3 is targeting. Um, and um, unfortunately for the spectators and everything, um, some were very disappointed on Chess Gamescom and also disappointed that the World Championship match will now be decided by Rapid. But unfortunately, Bishop takes e7 and a draw was agreed. Um, so some people blame that the match is too short. It should have been over 24 games. Um, I don't know. What do you think? It has been a bit of... Um, there have been much more exciting World Championship matches in the past. Well, um, those people, those people who won twenty-four games, must be a bit maybe, <laughs> yeah, methodist, methodistic or what? Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I think it would be a, this paradox <laughs> that uh, they were boring. playing more interesting chess. <laughs> I think the paradox was was, but maybe this is because of engine preparation. But let's try. Okay, let's we quickly mention this this final position, how dry it is, or otherwise. So we assume a recapture if it, if they had played on, and what would be White's best? move here yeah white white's best move would be to just play on and then let let black show what he has for the pawn i mean if you give this to a computer it, it will tell you really zero 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 yeah um really zero just zero um immediately um but uh well um, why not uh, just play this on you've got a pawn and uh, let's say knight d2, I play knight d2, rook c3, and I just keep this pawn, and okay, black might get it back, but it uh, needs to be shown. Um, okay, in the press conference, I wish he gave some some line, which he thought would be to totally drawn, whatever. Um, I, I, I don't uh, don't know exactly what this line was. Look, maybe d3 um, is an issue like this. If the bishop comes to f5, how does white defend it, d3? It, it, it is an issue, yeah. It is an issue, but it's just if you. Well, I, I watched this this part of the broadcast, and mm -hmm. and Kramnik was uh, was absolutely shocked that the game was over. Really, really. he was shocked. Yeah, 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 to completely. I thought it was was absolutely insane to to give it to give this uh, to draw this position, because White cannot lose. Gelfand had ten minutes. Anand had fifty minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's it's like uh, and 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 Geffen was just sweating there. You could you could look at look at him and see oh it's he wasn't so so I was I, at this point I was pretty sure that he would uh, be I don't know tortured for like two hours or something. Maybe it is a draw, but White can can offer the draw any time and get it what, immediately. What do you think about Knight E1 as an alternative to Knight yeah, E2? Maybe. Because Maybe. you want to keep d three, you can bring your king in, and the knight actually defends g two as well as d three. Maybe this is an alternative plan, um, and then yeah, Possi possibly. Hmm. Yeah, the, the problem is a bit like this a four move also. Yeah, yeah. A four and a four b four a three and the a two pawn is quite weak. Yeah. There are ideas. I'm not. I'm not arguing that maybe black uh, black can can draw this anyway, but it, it's really from a practical point of view. Um, 
impossible to offer a draw here. I, I, I simply, it simply makes no sense to me. I can guarantee you that absolutely, if you give this position to Carlsen, he would never offer a draw. Ne never in a hundred years. And for if, to, if he plays ten games, he would play, win two or three of them. Sorry, with White, you definitely favour White with the extra pawn. Yeah, maybe it is a draw. Maybe some some people come up with a line, but why not let it, let why not let it show me? It's quite. Uh, I, I was really sick that that they gave. I, mean, I don't mind those short draws if but there's nothing to play for. In but in the light of a four, I mean these pawns are a sitting target. These three pawns for the light square bishop potentially and the and the rooks and may, maybe you know. So Anand realizes he has a huge superiority in rapid chess statistically yeah and he's been playing his moves a lot quicker in this match so maybe you know he welcomes the rapid chess phase and both players kind of win because Gelfand doesn't lose credibility in the long games that he held Anand in the long game match and if he loses the rapid then he loses the rapid it's more like um you know a lottery uh, the rapid so he doesn't lose any credibility does he um, and also for Anand, he just wants the rapid because he knows he's got superiority. So they both kind of maybe happy with the result to get into the rapids. Yeah, yeah. Black, Black is certainly happy here with the draw because he was just gifted this half point for nothing. Um, mm. It's it's just absolutely insane to to make a draw here. Okay, look. If you, I, you if can, I tell, play you can white, tell me whatever sorry. you want. You sorry, this this kind of position, it's maybe a draw, but. If I would have white here, and some player right, with I'm, 2,600 I'm, would offer me a draw, I would just decline. Hang on, hang on. This because is quick, I cannot lose. Let's have a quick blitz game or two from this position then. So you play no, white and I'll on. play black. So what, what move come do you want to play? Come on, no. Go on, go on. What move do you want to <laughs> play? Knight, knight d2 or knight e1? Go on, quick. Five seconds a move. I, I'm going to go with this a4 pang. I quite fancy this for black. Go on. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, seriously, go on. Play a move for white. What would you play? Knight e1 or knight d2? Okay. We'll just we'll just play a few moves as an example, and then go back and maybe. Okay, let's 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 try. Um, okay, I need to think about this a bit. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's not. It's um. I think it is tricky because of a four, as you mentioned. <laughs> no, it's I'm 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 absolutely. It, 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 the computer analyzed this position and and said it is it is completely equal. So I don't doubt that, uh, but it, it's not. It doesn't make any sense to. If you got 40 minutes extra on the clock, why why would you offer a draw? It, it doesn't make any are, sense. Are you, are you sort okay. of maybe this maneuver is attractive if you can get that to block the bishop? Is that is that one thing that attracts you? I, I just want to tease out what attracts you about the white position. It doesn't seem a very healthy pawn up. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, but if if I can keep it, I keep it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What uh, what can you do? Let me. You could you can try this knight e1. It's it's very passive looking, but so I play a4 as you mentioned. It looks it looks dynamic a4. We're coordinating here on these pawns. Okay, uh, maybe rook a b1. Uh, so I get a rook infiltration. Then I take. You're going to take, yeah. I assume. You yeah. Capture. I th I guess uh, I suppose rook a2 doesn't really do anything. Hang on, what if I, what if I just pressurize that pawn with? Mind you, I've got to be careful about rook c7, haven't I? Um, there, there are rook c7s. You can also consider just rook b2 and rook c2 b1. It's just the pawn. I mean, you you might might get it back. You might. It's not. It's not like you can play any move and draw. Hmm. You're right. Yeah. It's it, it's not. It's uh, if someone watches this video, gives this into a computer, it might show a line which is completely equal. Mm. But he oh, he had 40 minutes extra. This was move 22, minutes. and uh, Galfand would have played had need to play 18 moves in in, uh, in 12 minutes. It's not a terrible time trouble, but maybe there are some things coming up. And how should White lose? It's not possible. It's not possible for White to lose. Hold on. Okay. Um. So if I, I play mean, I mean, six, the worst what, what could happen is I could lose a b3 pawn. Yeah. And then I'll draw this against anyone. Yeah. Really, because the, the, it's nothing happening. Um. Yeah. It's 
really maybe you're right and it's completely drawn and everything's cool but I don't think that that Rishi really wants I mean he doesn't mind the playoff of course because that's he, he cannot do anything and now to prevent it but uh, this is not like a regular rapid game in in Monaco where you play just for money and basically it doesn't matter if you lose or win mm. um, and um, he can lose this title uh, with just one blunder in a rapid game so I'm not sure. It's quite quite hard to understand why uh, why this should be done. But historically, he's been the fastest GM ever. He's been playing uh, long games in his youth really really quickly, hasn't he? Yeah, sure. And I don't I don't doubt that he's the better rapid player, but uh, it's still um, a different situation mm. because um, it's it's. It's um, it's it's really much more at stake than than usually. It's more, I think, a matter of of your nerves than uh, than the abilities and skill is, is of course important. But the nerves are very important, and um, you never know what 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 might happen there. Yeah. Now, if you would force me to bet any money, I would bet it on Gelfand, one hundred percent. Let's flip the board again. Let's go back. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Then okay, maybe white. Well, maybe, uh, but actually, you know, Anand's been world champion. He's done that. He's got the T-shirt, yeah. So maybe the nerves are not going to be as much as Gelfand, yeah. He's, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing, what, what, one thing um, that is absolutely clear after this match that uh, we won't have any matches uh, anymore without uh, without anti-draw rules. Because this is just acceptable, I think it, it's not acceptable that out of uh, if you, they played twelve games, they had two decisive games. You cannot do much about. Oh, I think, I, I think I've got a fire alarm going. I think we're going to have to cut it short. Sorry, I think there's some smoke or something. No, it stops. Okay, no, we're okay. Sorry, house is not on fire. Yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, they had twelve. They had twelve games. Two were decided, and ten draws. I mean, the number of draws is. In in a way, uh, not not too surprising, but you cannot really, um, I think, tolerate out of ten drawn games that there are nine games uh, around twenty five moves. I, I guess mean, yes. I think a lot of people are disappointed. It wasn't most exciting. You know, I think the most exciting World Championship match ever seems to be the nineteen seventy two match at the peak of the Cold War. You know, the political tensions around the games because the media really grabs hold of it. You know, being centrally yeah. uh, located at Reykjavik between the old, you know, USSR and, and states, the political tensions of the match. You know, the match became more than a chess match. Of course, you have uh, those kind of matches are always uh, more interesting in a way, um, or spectacular if you have got really two two persons that are really completely opposite to one another, and uh, it, it doesn't really help. Uh, the the kind of yeah fighting atmosphere of a match if the two players are too friendly yeah, yeah. you know it's uh, it it's I think it's uh, it fits both players personalities that they after the game do a quick um, they 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 often talk briefly about the game and this is all very very nice but if you want to have a I know it, it's just more spectacular and uh, more interesting yeah. if if the players don't really like each other or there are even political things behind this yeah even if you just um, even um, two years ago when um, Arnon played to Parlov it was all also a completely different different thing yes yes so tension yeah atmosphere okay so, um, um, all right um, all right. Okay. So we'll we'll try and cover some of the rapid games then, shall we? That those might be really exciting. You never know uh, maybe, when they come maybe, up on Wednesday. Yeah. Is it maybe Wednesday? it's uh, it's possible. You never know. Those uh, the quicker time control might uh, help uh, both players to to make some mistakes and and for once maybe uh, they try to play a position out. Mm. The thing is, I'm really th this is really a difference between. If you if you look at Carlson's games and these games, I g guarantee you those ten draws, he would play on these positions and win two of them. Really, That's those possible those because he's so tenacious and always goes on and finds some things mm. that that they need to solve over the board. And sometimes he, they don't manage, even if, um, if the, the, especially if the time gets a bit low and so on. 
and uh, somehow I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in the yeah I'm not sure if a, if a fighting spirit the right word but just just to 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 press on and 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 make and and pressurize the opponent but are you sure yeah. actually the temperature at the moment in both England and Germany is very very high are you sure we're not just irritated by the temperatures at the moment we're experiencing as well <laughs> It's just, you know, sometimes we're irritated if it's really hot. It has been really hot today, and I haven't really been in a mood to even play chess. But anyway, I think I've got to go now before I uh, get in trouble. So should we, should we wrap it up here, Chris, and maybe carry on on yeah. Wednesday? Um, yeah, let's hope for, for an interesting uh, playoff. We, uh, we had a playoff uh, in uh, 2006 mm. already for the title, and those games were also very, very... Um, yeah, very tense. So mm. we can be can be curious what what happens in the tie break. So yeah. you can quote me. Uh, I would bet on on Geffen now. <laughs> Maybe uh, at Blimey. the end. Uh, Blimey. Okay, my favourite is actually Anna, and I believe in his uh, intuitive fast play. So I reckon he will win the playoff. But okay, we'll see then on Wednesday. All right. Um, yeah. We'll, all right. Okay, uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe we can do a, a live stream of the games as they as they're being played. I don't know if you're around on Wednesday. Maybe we could try and do that. Um, yeah, on Wednesday. I mean, first of all, the game started uh, eight o'clock your time. Oh right, it's a bit early. Sorry, now maybe we're not both. Okay, we'll do them after. <laughs> well, I'm I'm at the office uh, and uh, need to yeah. earn some money. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right then. Um, all right. Okay, until Wednesday uh, evening or whatever. Okay. Um, right. okay. I hope some somebody got anything on from this video on YouTube. That'd be cool. Um, all right, see you Wednesday. And uh, okay, um, comments or questions on both our YouTube channels. Thanks all for right. <laughs> Bye. Cheers.